Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have my July grocery haul for you. And this is going to be, you know, mostly a, you know, pretty much a monthly grocery haul. Our monthly, monthly grocery haul, we usually do one big bulk shopping and then some smaller, you know, some smaller trips throughout the month. So this is the bulk of it. This is also a stock up, get ready for the summer. Um, the kids are home trying to stock up on some things. Hopefully some of these things will last. Um, but like I said, there will be some smaller hauls as well. Um, Ibotta, I use Ibotta. If you're not familiar with that, I have it linked down below for you and I'll link some of my older videos. Um, it's a great way to save money. Um, so I do use that app quite often. So I will probably be doing a lot of smaller grocery hauls using my Ibotta app and getting a lot of great deals because I think July is going to be really great. There's already some newer ones, um, you know, some that have already started. Um, when I'm filming this, it's right at the end of June and we're going into July. Um, I also wanted to say a quick welcome to, I have quite a few new subscribers, so I just want to say welcome to my YouTube family and thank you for subscribing. I have my 1,000 subscriber giveaway coming soon, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to hit that bell. Um, but let's get going because this is, I have a lot of items. Um, this is all from Walmart and I have a small haul from Aldi's as well, which I'm going to include in with this. So let's, like I said, so let's get going because there's quite a few things. Uh, so first, I'm going to start with some non-food items, and I had actually seen this on um, somebody else's channel that some of the L'Oreal, not all of them, but the L'Oreal Lumi Cushion um, Foundation was on clearance. Um, and also, just if you are newer to my channel, I will put all the the prices, in, uh, um, including what the discounts were. Like, I also use the Checkout 51 app, and I sometimes use... Uh, paper coupons, printable coupons. So I'll put all the information down below of all the prices and everything for you guys just to make it easier so I don't have to explain every little thing. Anyways, this was on clearance and it was also an Ibotta discount. So it came down to really, um, I think it was around two, three dollars. Like I said, it'll be all down here. Um, so we only could find one that was on clearance, but um, thankfully it, it seems like it's a light color, which is what I need. So I got that. Also picked up some more of their clearance jewelry. Their jewelry is just so pretty this year this season for, for for summer. I almost said spring, but it's summer now. Um, so I picked up these little cute hoop earrings. They were only $2. Um, I also wanted some mason jar uh, lids that you could put the straws in. Um, the package was already ripped, but they're all here, so I grabbed it anyway. They are from Pioneer Woman. Those are the designs there, and then the two others. Um, also picked up some razors that time of year. <laughs> Go through them a lot. Um, I know, TMI, <laughs> and more TMI uh, things as well, but I know I showed these in one of my other previous hauls, uh, and I they still had them available, and there was a checkout 51 uh, rebate as well as a coupon. Um, so I think these actually were like almost free. Um, so, so I got one package of these, uh, stay, the Stay Free Ultra Thin. Also came with a, a little free pack of three overnight pads. Also, carefree, the Carefree Liners, we also picked up a package of those because they were on deal as well. So we'll be stocked up on these things for quite a long time because we keep getting it every time I go. As you guys know, I always check out, well, I got some clearance spray, but I also got some of this before I get to that. Let me show you this too. I got two big loaves of just the white sandwich bread. We're going to be doing some freezer sandwiches. We usually do peanut butter and jelly. I put them in the freezer and that way it just makes it easier in the summer. The kids can grab their own lunch. Or if we're on the way out the door and you know need to grab something quick, we will, you know, we it'll be like I said, all ready to go. So we got two big loaves of that. And then the clearance bread. I, clearance bread. I, I know I say this to you guys all the time. And if you're newer, um, always check your uh, clearance items in Walmart, especially the bread section. Usually they have it in a whole rack in the dairy section. That's where they have it in my store. And buy it and freeze it, either pre-cut it or, you know, leave it whole, whatever, whatever way you want to, you know, store it. Um, so anyway, so I got two of these, this is the French bread and they were only 38 cents today. And sometimes the prices will vary. Um, last week, I think I got them or two weeks ago, I got them for like 44 cents. So it'll vary. It depends. Um, and then I also picked up, I show these all the time. These are those, uh, six pack of rolls and they were 70 cents. So that's all we got this time with three. And then also for more bread, it seems like we go through so much of this. Uh, my daughter loves this Dave's uh, Killer Bread in the Raisin the Roof. 
and um, she is vegan. So if you, you know, if you are newer to my channel, my daughter and I are vegan. My husband and my son are not. So you'll see some vegan items, some non-vegan items. You know, they eat some of both. You know, and my daughter and I obviously just eat the vegan items. But it is very hard to find vegan raisin bread for some reason. A lot of them have milk, but the Dave's Killer Bread does not. So she really enjoys this because she does like raisin bread. We also picked up the Epic uh, Everything Bagels from them as well. And I love that there's a lot of protein and fiber in them. And I will usually just keep these in my freezer and keep them on hand forever I want. Like, you know, um, her and I want a bagel. Then I also picked up some paper plates. I got the 140 count because it seemed it was cheaper than usually I buy the... Um, I think it's 70 or 80 count, but it was actually cheaper this time to buy the larger pack. So I picked up the larger ones and it's summer and I just want to make life as easy as possible. Like, even though it seems like I want to make life easy as easy as possible when the school year is going on too. But you know what I mean? We're coming and going and I just want to make it easy. Um, also picked up some flour tortillas. I got the, let's see, the soft taco ones. I got three packages of those. As you guys know, if you're familiar with my channel, we go through them a lot. I got small, the small um, fajita style ones as well. Then I picked these two. They're called, let's see, Fordo Coffee Shot Orga Organic. They had vanilla and they had Hershey chocolate. These were on actually the Ibotta app as a special um, and they were basically free. So I picked up two of them because I actually have, and I rang them up separate because I actually have two Ibotta accounts, one under my husband's name and one under my name. So I bought two of them and I got them for free. Um, and then my daughter happened to spot some of this cookie butter. So we got that as well. We're gonna, She's going to give it a try. We've only, we've only had the Trader Joe's one, so we'll see how this one compares. Then we needed some jelly for the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and she loves this one, the Welch's Natural. We picked up, this is the peanut butter we've been getting lately, the No Stir Natural Peanut Butter. We got four of those. Then I also picked up these Crunch Master Multi-Seed Crisps, and these are actually gluten-free as well. As you can see down here, certified gluten-free, and I believe, and they are vegan as well. They're very simple ingredients. Picked up four boxes of those because I had printable coupons, and also there was a cart, uh, not cartwheel, that's Target. Um, it, there was a checkout 51 rebate as well as a Ibotta rebate for them, so it made them, it dropped them down to a really low price. Um, like I said, price will be right down here, down below for you guys. Also picked up a lot of more junk cereal. You know how it is with my husband and my son. They love this, you know, junky cereal once in a while. Actually, my daughter got one too. But um, anyway, so we got that. She got we got the Captain Crunch, this is the traditional one, and then I got the this is the Soccer Crunch, which is I guess a newer one. And I got these both because they actually was they they do enjoy this cereal, but there was also an I bought a rebate. And then there was a bonus. They also give you bonuses sometimes for buying additional items or two, you know, two similar items of the same brand. So if you bought two, you got a bonus, uh, a bonus rebate as well. And then along the lines of more cereal, my daughter wanted this Oreo, Oreo O's cereal. It's a really big box, so she wanted to try that. That unfortunately was not on any sort of rebate, so. Um, that was full price. I think that was about almost four dollars for that. Then we also picked up some Nature Valley this granola crunch. This was on the Ibotta deal, so we picked up two bags of these. I will probably once the, if you're not familiar with Ibotta, that they will sometimes reboot some of the deals, and then you can do them again. So when they reboot the deal, I will probably definitely, I will most likely go back and get this again because we love granola. And I love that these are like the bigger pieces. It's almost like the bar is just broken up. So we got two of those. Now for produce, I really didn't get too much. I also got a few things at Aldi's, which I will show you in a minute. Um, but I got one, I know it seems strange, but I only got one corn corn on the cob because this was an Ibotta deal, 25 cents back. So dropped it down to just um, less than 10 cents, I believe it is. Um, because next week actually there'll be a lot of more because it'll be 4th of July these will be actually cheaper so I just grabbed the one because like I said it was a deal and also because Ibotta had a deal that if you purchased if you did uh, 20 rebates 
that you would get an additional ten dollars back. So I was trying to just hit those, um, hit those bone all those bonuses so by doing these additional rebates. So that helped me do that. Um, I also picked up one sweet potato because that was on uh, Ibotta deal as well. Picked up some organic romaine hearts. Now there were three in here, but I am filming this the day after we went to the store and we already broke into this and made some salad. So this is the organic romaine hearts. Then we also, we actually already had this as well because we had some pizza and the salad. And this is the sweet earth and this is the vegan uh, veggie lovers pizza. And this was actually really, really good. I would definitely uh, purchase this again. And really great ingredients, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, mushrooms. Even my daughter ate it who um, does not like broccoli and Brussels sprouts or mushrooms or even corn sometimes. And she really enjoyed it too. And it has a very, um, a very little bit of like a vegan cheese, uh, very minimal of it. And it was really good. So I would definitely repurchase this. And then up here, I picked up uh, more of the Tic Tac gum because that was on the Ibotta app again. So I'll just keep these on hand when the kids want like a little, you know, want some gum or whatever. And my husband likes these as well. I also picked up this uh, matcha powder. And I've never had this before. And I have to say Walmart is starting to get a lot of really great um, products like this. Uh, leave me a comment below if you want me to do like uh, maybe like a walkthrough video. Um of Walmart and just showing some of their new, you know, not just, you know, specifically vegan items, but a lot more like healthier items in their store. Um, you know, like cheese, they had cheese seeds and hemp seeds, uh, cacao powder, you know, a lot of things like that. So let me comment below if you'd be interested in seeing like a video that's just specifically designated to all that. Cause I would love to do that for you guys as well. Um, so I'm going to give this a try and, uh, you know, it wasn't too bad. It was like around $6 for this as well because matcha powder can be a little bit pricey. Then I also picked up this Talenti. I know it's kind of frosted over. It's hard to see. It is the, um, I think it's the Roman raspberry gelato and this is also dairy free or vegan. And then we picked up some, these were on Checkout 51 and they are new. These are Pure Blends. Uh, like a butter spread and we got two of the av the avocado oil ones and uh, we also got one of the coconut oil so we're gonna give these a try and they are as you can see they're certified vegan and then I also got my son likes the regular butter so I also got the Lando Lakes uh, two of the tubs of the traditional butter and these were on the checkout 51 app as well for a discount then I picked up one package of the Morning Star, and these are the vegan burgers. They, I think, believe these are the only these and the chicken strips are the only things um, in their line that are vegan, as far as I know. Most of their items have eggs in them, so just be aware of that if you do buy Morning Star items and you are specifically looking for things that are vegan, just make sure. Um, and usually I think it's the brown labels like this, but these are the roasted garlic and quinoa burgers. I love these. They're really good. And my daughter wanted these Boca uh, chicken patties. She really enjoys those. And then I picked up three boxes of these Vans uh, gluten-free waffles. And these, I actually had printable coupons as well as there was an Ibotta rebate. So it brought them down to less than a dollar a box because I normally don't buy things like this because I it's for me it's cheaper to make them homemade and um, you know I know exactly what the kids are eating but like I said because these were such a great deal and this is a really great brand as well we used to buy this you know quite a few years back um, so that's like I said so that's the only reason why I picked them up because it was a great deal and when this reboots I will probably most likely pick up some more of them. And then back here, we picked up some of this, uh, the Kiko Man um, orange sauce. So we can make maybe make our own uh, um, chicken and orange, uh, what is it, chicken and orange sauce. I know I've, I have hauled it from Trader Joe's. We They sell the vegan and also the traditional chicken ones. So I figured we could just, you know, maybe we'll give it a try and make our uh, homemade version with that. Also picked up some Just Mayo. And then back here, I picked up some more Good Belly products. If you have seen my last hauls, you know we have, have bought quite a few of these. 
And I love that they are still on the Ibotta app for some really great deals. Not as good as they were last month, but still really great. Um, so we're going to give this one a try. We haven't tried this one yet. And this is the juice drink. We got the blueberry acai. Then we picked up more of the individual size bottles here, the 12 ounce bottles. We got two of the watermelon lime and then we got three more of the lemon ginger and like I said those were on the Ibotta app plus they had some coupons when you if you do buy these or not these but the individual little shots on the inside of the packages there are 50 cent coupons and I believe on the website there are dollar coupons so um, but I think you can only print two of those um, so definitely check that out because you can use the coupon and get the rebate back and get them for free uh, picked up some more so delicious almond milk seems like we went through a lot of this I still have some left for my uh, last hauls but um, I think my son has been eating a lot more well obviously a lot more cereal lately and he likes he he doesn't drink regular milk he prefers this um, so I picked up uh, picked up two of those sorry and then I also picked up the great value unsweetened almond milk because there was an I bought a rebate for any almond milk and this was the cheapest one. And like I said, I was trying to reach those, reach that 20 uh, rebate mark so I could get um, the bonus $10. Then also the I bought a app uh, rebooted this as well. I know I had hauled these in my previous hauls and this is the red pack, um, the big cans of the diced tomatoes. And I also picked up uh, two, what is it, two 18 uh, packs of eggs for my, mostly my son and my husband ACs as well. And then uh, the last two things for my husband and my son uh, were these Butterball, um, what is this, uh, smoked turkey sausage and then also some turkey bacon as well. There were some uh, printable coupons on the Butterball website that um, if and, and Walmart did take them thankfully because sometimes Walmart can be a little bit um, picky about their coupons but they did go through for me and then also there was a rebate on Ibotta as well so um, dropped them down to really a really inexpensive price like I said I'll put all the all the prices down below here for you guys I don't I don't mean to keep saying that but they will be all here so now we're gonna move on to the Aldi's haul and I'll show you what I got from Aldi's alright guys so here is my Aldi's haul and we're on a different table now. Now this is my kit, my kitchen table. And actually for some of you guys who are my OG subscribers, I'll give you a little quick shot there. Tell me what you see that's different. Maybe not so busy in the background now. Um, anyway, so I also wanted to show you real quick, I forgot to add these to my Walmart when I was showing you the Walmart items. Um, I picked up two of these extra firm organic uh, tofu. So those were from my Walmart haul, but I already put everything away and then I just, I realized that these were still in the fridge. So I wanted to show you those so you know that I, sh so you could see that I got those as well. So we're gonna come over here and these are the Simply Nature, which is the Aldi's organic line that they carry. And I got the chicken, oven roasted chicken breast, and this is what my son likes. When it comes to deli meat, this is usually all that he likes. He's very spe uh, specific. He only likes the Aldi's, the organic one, and I like to get him the organic one because it's at least a little bit better, hopefully. Um, but anyways, they were all on sale for $2 off, so I thought that was a really great deal. So it was less than $2 a pack. So I got four of those and I'll probably just, I'm just gonna throw the whole pack right in the freezer. And when we are ready to take them out, um, you know, I'll just take it out, defrost it, and he'll get several sandwiches because he only puts like a slice or two on his sandwiches anyway. He mostly likes um, avocado and tomato and lettuce on it mostly and then it's just, he just puts a slice or two of this. So it's mostly veggies. Um, so like I said, I got, I got four of those. And then I also got my husband uh, the organic roast beef. I got him two of those as well. They were also had the $2, $2 off on them. And then I got him a big package of turkey breast. So like I said, most of the stuff will get frozen and we'll take it out as needed. And this might even last us more than a month. Um, my, my husband, I pack his lunches for work and then, you know, like I said, my son will eat the chicken breast, but sometimes he even does the peanut butter and jelly or just whatever leftovers are in the house. So, um, but I just couldn't pass up the deal. And then for some more produce, like I said, I did have a few more produce items. The avocados were on sale for 69 cents, so I couldn't pass up getting so many of them. I actually got 10 of them. Um, and we haven't had avocados in a while, so looking forward to those. Hope they get ripe soon so we can make some guacamole and put them on our sandwiches. 
Then I also picked up some of these gourmet uh, Roma tomatoes. Let me just turn them around so you can see here in the bag. There are those there, non-GMO. So we got those. I also picked up some cilantro so we can make that guacamole with the avocados. I also wanted to let you guys know that you will not see a ton of produce in our, uh, or vegetables at least, in our grocery hauls because we did start our summer farm share and I do post a picture every week on my Instagram page so I will link my Instagram page down below or I always, I always actually have it always linked. Um, so follow me over there and you can see what kind of produce we get. It varies uh, week per week. It's kind of, we're starting out slow. It's early in the season still, but as the season progresses, it we would we get a ton of things. Sometimes I even cook it and freeze it if we don't get through all of it. Um, so that is why you won't see a ton of stuff. Um, so let's see, so no, moving on, I also picked up a can of the olive oil cooking spray. Then I picked up a container of dry roasted peanuts for my husband. He loves to snack on peanuts. Then I picked up a ton, as you can see over here, of hummus because we love, love, love the Aldi's hummus. I feel like it's the best price, the best, uh, best taste around. Um, they did actually up the price a little bit lately, I think because they redid um, our, we have two local stores and they redid them. Um, so maybe that's why they upped the prices, but still better than other brands. And like I said, I think they taste, the flavor of them is so much better. I do make it homemade from scratch occasionally, but some, this just makes, sometimes makes life easier. And we just love it so much. But anyways, <laughs> um, so I got two of the classic and we got the roasted garlic. And like I said, we, I am filming this a day after we went grocery shopping. As you can see, some it's, some of this already got eaten. Uh, I got the, this I think is a new, I don't think this is like going to be a regular item. I think this is a, sometimes they'll come out with specialty ones from time to time. So this is a um, bean hummus, bean hummus trio. So we got the black bean, the white bean, and then the cilantro jalapeno edamame, which I think that one is my favorite. Then down here, this one is also, I think, like a limited edition one, and it's the buffalo hummus. And you can see we already broke into that one. It is really spicy, so if, if you don't like spice, I would stay away. If you do like spice, definitely get this one because it is really spicy. Also picked up the garlic and kale hummus, which I did try this once before. It is, it is pretty good. And then I really love this one, the pineapple jalapeno. It's not as spicy as the buffalo, but it has a nice little... Um, kick but with the sweetness of the pineapple and it's really really um, really really tasty I think this one out of the limited edition ones currently this one is my favorite also picked up a package of their meatless jumbo hot dogs because these are sort of hit and miss uh, whether they have them sometimes they do and sometimes they don't it is grilling you know the grilling time of year so I'm sure they will probably have them in stock for a while but I wanted to pick up a pack and probably next time if I go I'll pick up some more and I just keep them in the freezer and um, keep them on hand for when I need them and then the last few items are actually non-food items as you can see I actually picked these up I don't think I showed them in my previous hauls I think it was like one like one of those really quick trips where I just went in and grabbed like one or two things and I happened to see these and I grabbed one of each uh, size Try them out. I absolutely love them. And what they are are um, freezer boxes. So as you guys may or may not know, because I know I have a lot of new subscribers, I do like to do a lot of freezer meals or um, we do a lot of, um, we have frozen fruit a lot of times and things like that. And I will use like the freezer baggies more, you know, very often. Um, so, but I feel like that can be very wasteful. So I was excited to see these in the, in all these and give them a try and they work really great. Um, so you get a, um, a six pack, but it's basically three bowls and three lids of this like larger size. And I find that these are great for my, um, for my banana, my frozen bananas. I will freeze them. I uh, lay them out flat and freeze them. And then I just toss them in this bowl and it is, is making life so much easier and it actually makes the freezer very neat and organized rather than, rather than having the baggies all over. And then I got a package, this is a 10 piece pack, which is basically five bowls and five lids of these smaller ones. And these are really great too. 
Um, as you can see, we, we actually have um, some already in our freezer with berries, just like they show in the picture. And I think you can also put meals in it, like it shows here in the picture, you could put pasta. Um, so, you know, I really think these will be helpful and also in the long run save me money and also not be wasteful with all the plastic, um, which I really hate doing that, you know. So, um, you know, if you have an Aldi's, definitely check the check these out. And I believe they were four, I think four ninety nine, five ninety nine for the big the bigger ones and four ninety nine for the smaller ones. I don't have the receipt in front of me, but I will double check and I'll put the the price here. Um, but definitely check these out. If I will look and see if uh, possibly Amazon has something available that's similar, and I will link that down below for you as well, in case you guys are interested in you know something that's similar to this. If you're just looking to be um, you know, like I said, it, it's great for, or, you know, better organization of your freezer and less wasteful. Also saves you money in the long run, not use, you know, using up all the baggies. But I really find that they are, you know, they are working out really great. So that is everything for this month's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed checking out what we got this month. There will be, like I said, a few, um, probably some smaller grocery hauls throughout the month that I will, you know, I will probably share with you. Uh, either a you know as a regular haul or within a vlog or something like that um, so you can see what else we got and if there's any new Ibotta deals that come up I you know I always love sharing those with you guys um, I will link Ibotta down below if you want to join my team um, the more people we have on our team and we work together the more money we can all make to get you know we actually help each other to earn money back um, you know I just in this past trip I think I earned back uh, about four, yes, it was like about $40. Um, I will leave all the totals and everything right at the end that you, so all the breakdowns of what I spent, to, you know, my totals and my total discounts from Ibotta and Checkout 51. Um, but you can save so, so much money. And also it's a great way to try some new products from time to time, you know, which is, you know, also, you know, like you saw some of the free items that we had gotten and the Good Belly products, which I probably wouldn't buy if I wasn't using the discounts, you know, on them. Um, but, you know, so definitely check out that link, you know, use that link below if you are not joined, if you have not joined Ibotta yet. Um, but like I always say, um, if you have not yet subscribed, hit that red button down below. Hit the bell button so you know when I am uploading. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you soon. Bye, guys.